Keep an eye on Trixie. That broad's going all squarely on me. You got it, kid. Well, you're gonna stand there like an oaky, or you're gonna shine my shoes. I'm looking for a guy named Arthur McFly. He's my, uh, sort of a relative. Well, he's my employee. He's very busy today. Since you're Arthur's boss, you know where he is, right? He's at the, uh, office. Where's the office? I forget. Isn't that Arthur McFly's hat you're holding? It was McFly's hat. Now, it's my peanut bowl. <laughs> Could I buy Arthur's hat off you? Could you keep your mind on your work, huh, shoeshine boy? I'm hanging on to my peanut bowl. Can I have some peanuts? Why not? I'm a magnanimous kind of guy. Go ahead, knock yourself out. Hey, kid! Yeah? What the hell is that? Hey! What did you do? Oh! <clears throat> Give me that hat, you lousy crook! Damn it! Nobody makes a monkey out of Kid Tannen! Ow! Fix me up! Where do you learn how to move like that? Sandlot football. They used to call me the streak. Hey, honey. Come here for a sec, boy. Hey, boy. Can you find the guy who belongs to this hat? Where is he going? Only one way to find out. Deja vu. Need any help? Um, never mind. Yeah? Who is it? It's McFly! Shh, I know!
Someone's playing tricks on me. Thanks for bringing us here, boy. We'll take it from here. Well, well, look who's back! They say rats always return to the scene of the sinking ship. Uh, get him, Matches! From there, you son of a bitch! Right now! That's an order! What do you think you're doing up there, you scrawny little runt? Get down here right now! Don't make me angry, Schmucko! Get down! Einstein! Help! Get out. Get crazy Get out. Go, go away, dog. We're busy here. Go on, scram. Hey, where'd he go? You let him get away, idiot. What now? What do you think you're doing up there, you scrawny little runt? Get down here right now! It's Kid! Right away, boss! Ah, where's Kid? Arthur McFly? Yeah? Got something for you. Thanks. A subpoena? Ordering you to appear in court and provide evidence in the investigation into- Kid Tannen? Take it back! You can't get rid of it, Mr. McFly. Once you've been served, it's your duty to report to the court at the earliest possible time. 
Failure to do so could lead to a warrant for your arrest. Arrest? But kid will kill me. Stupid, stupid Arnie. Holy cats, what am I gonna do? I suggest you avail yourself to the protection of the court. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Well, we've served the subpoena and gotten a barrel of booze delivered to your house. Looks like we're off to your lab to build your rocket drill. Ah, uh, you do have a lab, right? What kind of future patent holder would I be without a lab? Come on! Doc! I'm off to get the rocket drill. Good! <gasps> Come on, let's go! Time waits for no man! Are you sure this is gonna work, Emmett? Don't let the ramshackle nature of my laboratory fool you. If all goes according to plan, we'll soon be in possession of the most powerful rocket fuel known to man! That's great! Uh, how? Well, it's very simple. This crankshaft induces a powerful direct current into the electrolysis chamber, producing hydrogen which must be periodically released into the primary distillation barrel! While tending to the hydrogen, we'll also need to regularly sprinkle these shredded protein flakes into this aquarium of tuber bacteria to generate the necessary nitrogen to catalyze the reaction! Cool. Oh, hot! Extremely hot! The temperature of the reaction must be kept at a steady temperature of 623 degrees Kelvin by carefully pumping these bellows! Any questions? Uh... Emmett? Why is there a brace of drunkards gathering on our lawn? Sweet fancy Moses, it's my father! So? So, he doesn't know I'm engaging in acts of scientific exploration in here. He thinks this is where I go to pour through my law books. Oh. You tend to the reaction, I'll try to get rid of him! T tend to the... what? Can't we just start over after he's gone? It's too late! The reaction's already started! Don't worry. I'll try to help you out where I can. But... Uh, coming, father! Father! Don't you father me, child! Is it my fault if I don't get a spark out of laws and statutes? If you know what calls, you're not You can get back someday you are going Listen to the words I'm emphasizing. Don't you turn your back on me! Don't you have a release valve on your mouth somewhere? If you know what calls, your mother and that you can skip. Can you someday you are going to What do you call a room full of lawyers trapped in a burning building? A good start! If you know what calls, your mother and I are you can skip. Can you pass someday you are going to You're pressuring me to be something I'm not. If you know what calls, your mother and I are you can skip. Can you pass someday you are going to Excellent. Now twist the valve there. Great. We're about a quarter of the way home. Emmett, get back here! Oops. <laughs> You're going to find out. Maybe I should just get struck by lightning. Would that make you happy? I hope someday you have children and you will look at all. You have no idea what kind of pressure I'm under. <laughs> you know who invented fire pop? I don't know. What did you do? Emmett, who are you talking to in there? No, no one, father. <laughs> You're going to find out. I don't know what's <laughs> eating you, father, but I wish it would go on a diet. I hope someday you have children and you will look at all. Stop getting so hot under the collar, pop. And don't cough your 
Just pay attention to what I say. Image, I'm not through with you yet. I... <laughs> You're going to find out. There is a flame inside me that cannot be quelled by your legalistic gobbledygook, father. And you would look I don't. Why won't you release me from your unattainable expectations? Lawyers are nothing but a bunch of hot air. There, I've said it. Someday you will have children and you will look for the law. What use is a microorganism for laws? If it weren't for scientists, men like you would still be dividing the future with sheep's bladders and goat gizzards. You get older and I'm beginning to I hope someday you have children and you will look for the law. I don't just my son. Ah, halfway there! Emmett! Keep up the good work! You go, Captain My Galileo's rotations! Do you ever listen to yourself? Are you trying to spin this argument around to my failings? Sunday! I thought you were a scientist! Emmett! Can't you see this is eating me up inside? The Van Brons have been officers of the court since God's heavenly spark. Don't touch anything until I tell you to. This may come as a shock to you, Pop, but not everyone wants to be a lawyer. You didn't like the chair. Lawyers are nothing but overblown bags of gas! Listen to the words I'm emphasizing. Emmett! You can't execute. Why should I honor your wishes? You treat me like common bacteria! Law may be your burning passion, Father, but it is not mine! What will it take to light a fire under your- What did you do? Emmett! You don't get to control my life just because you fed and clothed me for 17 years. <laughs> Your ancestors are spinning in their graves right now. <laughs> You're pressuring me to be something I'm not. Just pay attention to what I say. Emmett! I'm not just another one of your staffers who spins around you like a top. Pressure! Child, you don't know anything. I thought you were a scientist. Emmett! Do I get a turn to talk, or is this going to be another monologue? Why won't you release me from your unattainable expectations? Don't burn your bridges so cavalierly, my son. Is it my fault if I don't get a spark out of laws and statutes? Father, why don't you ever listen to me? The hotter you get, the more I know I'm right. Your mother and I are shocked at your behavior, young man. Don't you have a release valve on your mouth somewhere? There is a flame inside me that cannot be quelled by your legalistic gobbledygook, father. Why do you keep bellowing like that? I can tell. You caught your head. Sunday, you got me. Don't touch anything until I tell you to. Emmett! 
Connecticut. I didn't. I strongly object to the current of this conversation, Father. You didn't. I can tell. What do you call a room full of lawyers trapped in a burning building? A good start. What are they feeding you in that school of yours? You look like a skeleton. Damn it! You got no. Why don't you go feed the ducks, Father? What will it take to light a fire under your unappreciative hindquarters? You have no idea what kind of pressure I'm under. Don't burn your bridges so cavalierly, my son. You gotta stop being such a crank. Why are you always bellowing at me? The Van Brons have been officers of the court since God's heavenly spark first gave rise to men. Almost there. Emmet! Uh, coming, father. Uh, it. This isn't food for thought, Pop. It's gruel. Uh, Lawyers are nothing but overblown bags of gas. How many times do I have to prove myself to you before? Listen to the words I'm emphasizing. Emmet! I don't know what's eating you, Father, but I wish you would go on a diet. This may come as a shock to you, Pop, but not everyone wants to be a lawyer. But how many times do I have to prove myself to you before I can shake your overbearing criticisms? You really want to vent our dirty laundry in public like this? Name What did you do? Emmet! By Galileo's rotations, do you ever listen to yourself? If you don't like my performance at the courthouse, then fire me! If it weren't for scientists, men like you would still be divining the future with sheep's bladders and goat gizzards. Stop getting so hot under the collar, Pop. Can't you see this is eating me up inside? Law may be your burning passion, Father, but it is not mine. This isn't food for thought, Pop. It's gruel. Lawyers are nothing but a bunch of hot air. There, I said it. Wait, she Maybe I can just get struck by lightning. Would that make you happy? Why don't you go feed the ducks, Father? I know who invented fire, Pop. I don't know either, but you can be damn sure it wasn't a lawyer. I'm afraid we'll have to take this up later, Pop. My soup's about to boil over. What? This isn't over, young man. Whew. Okay, you and your dad sounded... It was an argument we should have had a long time ago. We... No! Oh. <laughs> Eureka! Now all we gotta do is fuel up the old rocket power drill, and you and, and I can- I can take it and go. But don't you want to test it first? No time. The, uh, the, the last train for DC leaves in just a few minutes. All right. You've got to get this baby to the U.S. Patent Office. Uh, exactly. So tell me, Harry, when can I expect to hear back from the Patent Office? Oh, in about, I'd say... I, I can't. Huh? Emmett, I I'm not from the patent office. I don't understand. I, I, I lied to you, but I, I didn't want to. It was just, it was the only way I can get you to trust me. See, there's uh, somebody who's in big trouble. Uh, someone very important to me, to, to both of us. Uh, I can't tell you who, but... I need to save him, tonight, and, and I need your invention to do it. I'll get it back to you, I, I promise. And, Emmett... You're gonna be a great inventor.
Wait! Keep the throttle at about eight. Okay, Doc, I got the drill. Now let's get you out of here. Come on, start! Supposed to be. Ah! They're moving him to another facility for safekeeping. Oh, I better go get a quote from the police chief. Paddy wagon intercepted, suspect slain, and they're still after him. But how am I going to rescue him now? <laughs> 